Well, I do hope we don't have to wait too long. Well, I don't see anyone we know. I expect it'll stop raining soon anyway. Do you? But the pavements will still be very wet. Oh, oh. I think it would be best if we took Lady Dalrymple's carriage. There won't be room for all of us. I shall walk. Oh, but my boots are much thicker than yours, Miss Anne. And it's hardly raining at all. I should like to walk, if I may. I'm sure Mr. Elliot would escort me. No, no. Honestly, I prefer walking. But so do I. Oh, but you do have a little bit of a cold, Penelope. I don't think you should be walking on wet pavements. But my boots are so thick, really. No thicker than mine, you know. And I have no cold at all. I wonder if it has stopped raining yet. Oh, it doesn't look like it. I can't see properly from this window. I'll, I'll just go and look. Oh, I think you'll be dry enough in here. <laughs> Miss Elliot. But of course, I... I knew you were in Bath. Yes. Have you just arrived? Last night. How very... How very good to see you again. So yes. soon. <laughs> I was just going to see if the rain had stopped. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. Not yet. Excuse me. Well, I needn't ask if you're feeling well, Miss Elliot. I can see it for myself. Thank you. You're looking very well yourself. I've been staying with my brother in Shropshire. Yes. Admiral Croft told me. Did he tell you the news from Upper Cross? About Louisa? And Captain Bennett? Yes. I was very surprised. No more than I was, I assure you. Oh, I see you're with your sister. Yes. Well, I'm delighted, of course. For Louisa, I mean. And for James, too. So am I. I hope they will be very happy. Yes, yes, of course. So do I. Lady Dalrymple for Miss Elliot. Oh, I thought she'd never come. Are you left behind, Miss Elliot? Oh, I prefer walking, honestly. Could I be of any service to you? I'm much obliged, but really not. Are you going to walk in the rain? Oh, it's very little. It's nothing, really. I... Although I only arrived yesterday, I'm already properly equipped for bath, you see. Yes. You're very wise. You will need it. I wish you'd use it if you're really going to walk. Though I think it would be more prudent to let me get you a chair. Oh, no, really not. Thank you. I... It will soon stop. I'm just waiting for my cousin, Mr. Elliot. He will be here at any moment. Oh. The one we failed to introduce ourselves to in line. Exactly. Are you going to the concert tomorrow? I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, Miss Elliot. The rain has eased off for a moment. I think we should go at once before it starts getting worse again. Oh, yes, thank you. Good morning, Captain Wentworth. Good morning, Miss Elliot. 
Es una contrariedad no poder terminar las compras. Casi agradezco que llueva. Tú siempre tan absurda, Ana. Así refrescará algo el ambiente. Si me permiten, puedo buscar paraguas. Es un fastidio, primo, pero tendrás que molestarte. Ah, no es molestia. Si me esperáis un momento... Me parece que no va a ser necesario, señor Elliot. Acabo de ver la carretela de la vizcondesa de Dal Rainpan parada frente a Mola. ¿Su coche? Sí, madre e hija están dentro de la tienda. Primo, si fuera usted tan amable de suplicarles... Será un gran placer. De todas maneras, en el coche no caben más de cuatro personas. Yo volveré a pie. Eh, no puedo permitir que te molestes. Te aseguro que no es molestia. Me agrada andar. Y no bajo la lluvia. Además, mis botas son más fuertes que las tuyas. Seré yo quien lo haga. Por favor. Me apetece dar un paseo bajo la lluvia. Déjalo, Penélope. Tú estás algo resfriada y puesto que Ana lo desea. Sí, lo deseo. ¿Qué ocurre? Nada. Me pareció ver a alguien. ¿Alguien? Cuando quiera. El coche está guardado. <risa> Vamos. ¿Usted se queda? Prefiero volver andando. Le ruego que me espere un instante. Solo el tiempo de acompañarlas hasta el coche. No insista, primo. Ana no necesita de nadie. Siempre ha sido muy independiente. Señorita Elio. Capitán. ¿Cómo está usted desde la última vez en Lyme? <risa> Mojada. ¿Está sola? Me parecía haber regresado a hace un instante con su hermana. Por cierto que pese a haberme mirado fijamente no debe haberme reconocido. Que no ha contestado a mi salud. Creo como usted que mi hermana Isabel no le ha reconocido. En realidad se dieron solo en una ocasión y hace ya mucho tiempo. Sí, mucho tiempo. Unos ocho años. ¿Qué noticias trae de Lyme y de Uppercross? Creo que las tendrá más reciente por su hermana, la señora Maspro. Hace mucho tiempo que dejé Lyme. He estado las últimas semanas en Kelly, reflexionando. Bueno, pero temo aburrirla. Le seguro que no. Tal vez no le interese el motivo de mi aislamiento. Espero que no haya sido por motivos de salud. Eh, si me permite, podemos seguir la conversación mientras la, la acompaño. Pongo a su disposición mi brazo y mi paraguas. Se lo agradezco, capitán. Pero estoy esperando. Precisamente aquí llega el señor Helio. Siento haber tardado, pero a última hora la señora de Dalreinfeld necesitó saludar largamente a... El capitán, el tren, mi primo, el señor Helio. Perdóneme, querida prima, pero la lluvia va a reciar. Si admite mi consejo, deberíamos irnos. Buenos días, capitán. ¿Sabes quiénes son? Todo el mundo los conoce. Parece que el señor Elliot no le disgusta a su prima. Eso es bien sabido. No hace falta calentarse la cabeza para adivinar lo que va a ocurrir. ¿Siempre está con ellas? Casi puedo asegurar que vive en la casa. Oh, ¡Qué buen tipo tiene él! Ay, la señora Atkinson dice que es el hombre más simpático que ha tratado. Pues ella, Ana Elio, también es muy guapa. Creo que no es esa la opinión general, pero a mí me gusta más que su hermana. Y a mí también, no hay comparación posible. Aunque los hombres andan locos detrás de la otra. Ana es muy delicada para ellos. Habría quedado sumamente reconocida a mi primo William si al marchar hacia Camden Place se hubiera limitado a acompañarme sin decir palabra. Nunca tuve que hacer mayor esfuerzo para escucharle. Y eso que no decaía un instante su galantería y que las cosas que decía eran siempre interesantes. Solo podía pensar en el Capitán Tren. De nuevo el destino cruzaba nuestras vidas. 
no me era posible descubrir la verdadera naturaleza de sus actuales sentimientos, ni si sufría o no los rigores de un desengaño. Y hasta que no desvaneciera esta incertidumbre, no podría recobrar la serenidad. Otra duda que me importaba despejar era el tiempo que Michael Tren se proponía pasar en Bath. O no me lo había dicho, o lo había olvidado. Tal vez solo estuviera de paso. Pero lo más probable era que hubiera venido para quedarse algún tiempo. Y en tal caso, nada tendría de extraño que nos volviéramos a ver. Lady de Rimple's carriage. She will be pleased to convey you home. She has a last room only for two. It is no trouble to me to walk. Nonsense, you have a cold. I can walk. Well, really, I am content. You might show me that parasol that you mentioned. You'll ruin your shoes. Anne has thick boots on. Mr. Elliot, would you be so kind? I should be delighted to escort Miss Anne. Then that's settled. Please tell the coachman that we're ready. And she's the Sam, uh, are you unwell? I, I will just, I'll just get some water. Excuse me. Good morning, Captain Wentworth. Miss Elliot. So, you are come to Bath? Well, yes, I, I am. And how do you like it? Bath? Mm. Well, I've yet to see it. Your family? Yes. Are they in health? They are. They are, thank you. And you, are you in health? <laughs> I'm very well indeed, thank you, Captain. Lady Durham pulls carriage for the Miss Elliots. You're not going too? There is no room. I shall walk. But it's raining. Oh, very little. Nothing that I regard. I, I like to walk. Though I only got here yesterday, I'm already armed for bath. <laughs> Please, take it. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. Shall we set off? The rain is eased. Good morning, Captain.
Miss Elliot. Your sister mentioned you're being in Bath? Yes. I'm lodging with the Admiral in Queen's Square. You've perhaps also heard that Louisa Musgrove is to marry James Benning. I have. I, I was most astonished. As was I. And yet I'm sure in time they will grow more alike. Captain Benning will gain high spirits and cheerfulness and, and she will... Uh, relish for morbid poetry. <laughs> Just so. <laughs> With all my soul, I, I wish them happy. And yet, Miss Louisa is a very good, amiable, sweet-tempered girl. Harville's sister was a very superior woman. And Benick's attachment to her was indeed profound. A man cannot recover from such a passion. With such a woman. He ought not. He does not. Um, My dear Anne, um, I cannot say how grieved I am to have kept you waiting. Uh, but, the carriage is outside. Oh, Miss Elliot, permit me to name Captain Wentworth. My cousin, Mr. Elliot. May I? Oh, um, Captain, there is um, a concert at the pump rooms tonight. I remember how fond you are of music. You're here? Yes. It appears I am. You alone? Mm. I'm just waiting for a friend. I see. We got caught in the rain. He's gone to fetch a carriage. He's quite charming. Well, I'm pleased to hear that. He makes me laugh. <laughs> it's nice to laugh. Apparently, you've yet to hear about the engagement time. Oh, I'm sorry. The horses were a nightmare in the rain. Uh, Mr. Elliot, allow me to introduce you. We remember each other. We do. Mm. Uh, th this is Captain Wentworth. Yes, your good friend, Captain Wentworth. I'm glad to have the opportunity to uh, apologize for my behavior in Lyme. It was on account of being struck by this dazzling creature. Please don't call me a creature. Uh, this dazzling, um... Woman? Woman? Well, what's wrong with the creature? We'll talk about it later. What is taking you two so long? Um, just one second. One second. There's a concert tomorrow. Will you join us? Oh, I hate to intrude. On what? You'll come then. Excellent. We'll be a foursome. You, she, the Belcanto, and me. It was quite original, isn't he? Unique, even. Good to see you happy. Thanks. I hope you're happy, too. Anne, I think we should be going. 
I'll see you tomorrow.